Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be installing Microsoft Office 2013 x86 version on our Linux. So let's get started. So before we begin, I am using Ubuntu 18.04 and the version of Linux I am using called Regolith Linux. And I have a review on that, which is down in the description below if you wanna check out that version of Linux. So what we're gonna be doing today is, like I said, installing Office onto our Linux. And this is one of those things that I've done plenty of times before, but I always forget the steps. Now, originally, when I first made this channel, I, I've used this channel for a place for notes. Basically, anytime I do a Linux install or do something with a particular software that requires more than one step as, as far as like setup.exe, um, I tend to make a tutorial out of it for, so you guys would know and I also keep track of it. Now I used to do this on my own website on Novaspirit.com up until I think 2013 when my website went down and I basically lost all my old tutorials in that and I needed to find a new place to play something that I knew was not gonna go down. So YouTube was my next approach because I could also monetize. And at that time I was watching a lot of uh, Barnacles, J's Two Cents and all that other stuff. And I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. So let me give it a try. And here we are. That's a little bit backstory of this channel, but yeah, as far as why I'm doing this tutorial, honestly, um, to me, in my opinion, Microsoft is still the superior product as far as going into Office, uh, especially Outlook and Excel. Those two products are still very, very good compared to what we have in the market. Uh, and I'm talking about like LibreOffice and all that other stuff. Microsoft still trumps the cake on that. And there's a lot of times where I'm running Linux and I still need to use Microsoft Office. Anyway, uh, the tutorial is gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna have to be able to get your own version of Microsoft Office. Uh, you can just Google it and you should be able to download it from Microsoft.com uh, somewhere. Uh, and we do need Microsoft Office 2013 x86 version. And that's the latest version that Wine fully supports. But to get it to install is not as straightforward as it seems. So the first thing we need to do is obviously install Wine and I will leave a tutorial down in the description down below to ubuntubook.com. He has a really good tutorial and that's the one I always follow to install Wine, the latest version. And I'm using Wine 5.1, I believe. So let's check that out. Wine uh, 5.5, sorry. I'm using Wine 5.5. Now the first step we need to do is actually create our own prefix, uh, a separate directory to make it 32-bit. So we're gonna use Wine prefix equals home, don, whatever yours is. Actually, you could do swiggly line slash dot one slash office 2013. That's what I'm gonna do. And then um, we're all now gonna also do wine arch equals win32. And then we're gonna build the directory. So we're gonna do wine config, and this will actually build everything we need here and install whatever it needs to be installed. While this is happening, I'm gonna pop open a second terminal and let me see if I can make the fonts a little bit bigger. Boom, 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 boom. Here, uh, here, I'm gonna do sudo apt install win bind and cab extract. And I'm gonna hit okay on this because I don't need that anymore. While I'm installing this, next thing we need to do is install wine tricks. So for, I already have Wine Tricks installed. So if you're following the guide on Ubuntu Handbook, you should have Wine Tricks installed. But uh, to get the latest version of Wine Tricks, what I ended up doing is just grabbing it from winehq.org. And we could do this by going into winehq wine tricks. I'm just gonna Google that. First link should be there. And it has a little quick instruction on how to like install it. So. I did that already. You just have to get Wine Tricks installed. Since that is all done, I'm gonna hit up arrow, pull up the old setup over here, and change this over to Wine Tricks. And just make sure that everything is working. Um, the next thing you need to do is select the default Wine Tricks prefix. Hey, would you like to do, 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 do? Yes, okay. And in here, you could do install Windows DLL components. If you want it to be a shortcut, you could actually just type this out yourself. So here I could actually do right here, msxml6. That's what we need to install. Hit OK. And then it's gonna install that. Now, I don't know why it runs into an error sometimes, but if I was to do wine tricks, 
msxml6 that way it works just as well okay once we got that installed all we need to do is actually mount the iso that you have downloaded so to do that okay so what i'm going to do is right click on that open with another application i am going to do disk image mounter select it's going to mount the disk so i should have a new folder over here somewhere um, it didn't show up but i'm pretty sure it mounted so i do cd media don and it's 15 and you should see a setup.exe i'm going to hit up arrow a couple of times just to get back to my wine prefixes and i'm going to do wine setup.exe and that's basically it you just go through the normal installation of office uh, let's do this now now if i go into my menu and i type in excel you should see a pop up in my list and that's all i need to do to run it there we have it guys so let me move it over to a better whoops window and obviously you need to activate your version of Win uh, um, office this has some black underlining uh thing over here and i tried to fix it there was a registry fix that you could kind of try to do it um it hasn't worked for me but it doesn't bother me because if you highlight it it comes back so that's the only downside to it right now i'm pretty sure somebody else on the internet have a fix and there we have our excel now if i wanted to try to run something else like say outlook there we have it oh, close that i don't know why it shows that up uh next i don't want to use it with an email i just want to start it up uh finish okay and there we have it Our outlook let's move that out of the way because it usually has like a little bar this version of uh, Linux doesn't have that little status bar. And if I wanted to test uh, Word, oops, open that by accident. So there we have it. It wasn't too hard to install it, but sometimes I usually either forget to install Windbind or Cab Extract, or I forget, I don't know, I skip a step somehow and it doesn't install correctly. But um here it is if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you guys have any software that you want me to try to install hit it down in the comments below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave hack till it hurts